And I'd like to welcome back with us, uh, Dr. Chang has been with us uh, not too long ago on our show from the California Protons Cancer Therapy Center. Doctor, good to see you again. Good to see you as well. Good morning to yeah, you. Yeah, good morning to you. And if uh, folks didn't uh, see our segment, what was it, about a month ago? Yeah, I guess you yeah, were something up. about that. And uh, you folks are located down in San Diego. About, That's correct. About where? Um, about the, uh, what was it, the old Top Gun uh, Naval Air Base, ah. just north of there. So, <laughs> yeah, we've been seeing the planes flying over as they film for Top Gun 2. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Do you really see that? Mm -hmm. They fly oh. right over our center, so we're just uh, a few miles that's east cool. of La Jolla. Yeah. All right, very good. Uh, well, that's, a, that's kind of a, a neat little trivia thing there. Well, today your subject is, your primary subject you want to talk about is um, prostate cancer. And... Uh, Tell us about the way you go about this. I think I've um, even heard of a few people have gone down there, and That's it's correct. A, it's a whole different way of doing things. And as you talked about with this proton therapy, uh, the biggest difference is how you can pinpoint That's the cancer. Correct. So before we talk specifically about the prostate cancer, again, if people didn't see you on our show before, maybe a little brief overview, overview of the prostate, or excuse me, about the, um, the proton sure. therapy and how that differs. Sure, well proton therapy is a very <coughs> precise form of radiotherapy that allows us to deliver the radiation mm -hmm. without giving so much radiation to the healthy normal tissues that are around the area. You know, one thing I explained before I thought is a good analogy is if one thinks about standard radiation, mm -hmm. x-ray radiation, kind of like a shotgun hitting the area, right. proton therapy is like a target rifle. Okay. allows us to pinpoint where we're giving that radiation. If you imagine a piece of paper with a circle drawn on it, yeah. and a shotgun, you get some bullets inside that paper circle, some bullets outside that circle. With target rifle, we can get all the bullets inside that circle. And that paper doesn't care how those bullets are getting there. It's just simply where are they placed. Similarly, in the human body, it responds mm -hmm. the same whether radiation's coming from x-rays or for proton therapy. But the main point of proton therapy is can we place all the radiation bullets, as it were, mm -hmm. just where the cancer is and avoid the healthy normal tissues that are around the target that we're trying to give the radiotherapy to? Okay, and obviously there's a huge benefit to that. That's correct, that's correct. And especially for something like prostate cancer you were mentioning, it, this is the most common cancer in men in America. Mm -hmm. As we get older, men's prostates will begin developing little cancers tumors that are in there. Okay. They typically grow slowly, <clears throat> but as we are experiencing longer life and healthier life, they can grow to become a problem. And so one of the traditional ways of treating prostate cancer is using radiotherapy from the outside in, right. pointing a beam. But there are some very critical organs that sit right there. Namely, we have the rectum and the colon that sits right behind mm -hmm. the prostate, and the bladder that sits right on top and in front of that prostate. And with standard treatments, we can irritate those two organs right. such that it, men can have worsening side effects. You know, as men get older as it is, the prostate gets larger and men uh, aren't able to empty their bladder as well. Mm -hmm. With standard radiation, that could exacerbate that, make it worse. Okay. And so the thought with protons is, well, can we give that radiation just to that prostate and minimize or get rid of any radiation to the bladder on top or on the rectum behind to minimize those side effects? And that's a very good way of pointing that radiation in there. Now, I understand um, that if someone comes down to get that type of, of treatment, mm -hmm. that uh, you pinpoint the area, and they got to stay very still, obviously. That's right. And it, uh, you know, it may take several treatments, and I'm sure that just depends on the amount of cancer that's correct. there, right? That's correct. The typical course is typically men will come to our center once a day it takes mm -hmm. about half an hour or so okay during the treatment patients don't hear anything they don't feel anything they don't see anything mm -hmm. there's no invasive procedures and there's no cutting involved it's like getting an x-ray scan you just yeah. lay very still on a table it takes about 20 or 30 minutes in the room and then man or patient is able to get up and just walk on out and mm -hmm. go about their regular activities so we indeed have had several residents here uh, come on down to our center for radiation treatment. It's about an hour drive down, get their treatment, play some golf in the afternoon, drive back home. It's, yeah. Uh, pretty straightforward. Yeah, great area to play golf, by the way. Yeah, yes it is. Or watch the, the planes come watch the planes. from Top Gun. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as far as uh, people deciding this is where I want to go, mm -hmm. how would that work with your primary care physician? If uh, Can you 
opt for that? Can you say, you know what, this is some, something that I want to explore and see if this mm -hmm. is a better treatment for me. And how is it determined that your treatment is the right one versus maybe something else? It does depend on how, how large the cancer is, sure. how far it's gone? Yes, that, that those all <coughs> play a role into mm -hmm. it. And we are happy to work with uh, any of the patient's physicians to say, okay. is a patient a candidate for this type of treatment okay. or not? Indeed, there are some cancers that they've spread outside the prostate to other parts of the body. It can be very difficult to do proton radiotherapy right. for, but we're always happy to review patients' records and speak with their physicians about it. Um, there's other treatments, including things like surgery for removal of the prostate, right. uh, that can be more difficult because it does involve um, doing a procedure to open mm -hmm. up the body. Right. And for someone who, for instance, has heart disease already or, or has a bad hip, they can't undergo the anesthesia, those we would say, you know, maybe not so such a good candidate for surgery. Whereas with proton radiotherapy, there aren't really any difficult cases because there is no invasiveness and we mm -hmm. don't have to worry about is a man's heart not strong enough for the procedure because it's, there's no stimulation to that. Yeah. yeah. I remember last time you were on, you were telling me that uh, although you folks really specialize in this, this type of therapy has been going on for a while, longer than most people think. Yes. It's not something that's brand new. Correct. It's just now coming more towards the forefront, right? Exactly. This, this type of treatment has actually started in 1954. Wow. So this is a, <laughs> a type of technology that's being uh, refined and consistently uh, improved upon mm -hmm. in the last several decades. It's recently become uh, such that there can be multiple centers. Um, the first center that was designed for medical treatment was actually in the late 1980s, but the mm -hmm. treatment has been around since the 1950s. And a lot of this technology, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of this technology actually came about as a result of developments and scientific achievements for computers and such from those who were involved in the uh, initial um, World War II radiation project. Oh, okay. Manhattan Project and things, right. the computers and the research about uh, uh, radiation and side effects and how to uh, develop these types of treatments all came from those initial uh, scientific discoveries. Wow. Yeah. Now, how many patients have you, uh, have you folks had down there and treated with their prostate cancer? Oh, we've treated um, many, many patients. In, in fact, uh, one of our physicians, Dr. Carl Rossi, mm -hmm, who's a sure. prostate cancer expert in the world, he's treated more patients than anyone in the world with proton therapy. Wow. Well over 10,000 patients himself with uh, proton therapy for prostate cancer. Yeah, that's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Well, obviously, it's a, a great way to go if it fits the patient's needs. That's and correct. That's really the key on that. Uh, you brought some brochures along yes. here. And I know on one of them here, we've, I've seen this picture before. Here's, um, I, I, is this, the, this is the apparatus. That's I don't know the, if that's the right word yeah. to be using, but. That's uh, correct. This, yeah. is, this is the room where the patient lays in <laughs> and the machine that goes around. And uh, as uh, I was talking with uh, John earlier about yeah. it, we have, uh, uh, tours that go on at the center uh, twice a month where okay. we give little lectures and if any of you guys want to come on down we're happy to to show you around the center now this looks you know the picture of this is a better picture it looks like something out of maybe <laughs> you know star trek or something yep, like that but, yeah <laughs> but it looks like it's an environment that is going to be comfortable for the patient obviously you have to put them down there and as you said uh, they have to remain in a um, in a certain position and all that, but however, they just lay there for a while and uh, the therapy does its thing and they get up and go, which Correct. is really great. Yeah, no the side patient, effect to that. Yep, the patients just choose some music to the like <laughs> listening to, lay, lay on the table. One of my friends says this is the uh, most advanced uh, piece of uh, technology ever designed for medical treatments in the history of humankind. Really? Yes, it is. Wow. And so we're happy to show it off and uh, there's people who want to come on down, we're, we're welcome. Please give us a call. All right, very good. And uh, the website we just, um, we just put up is uh, and uh, California Protons, Tycon, right there? Yep, CaliforniaProtons.com. And again, you folks are down in the San Diego area, so not too far away. That's and, correct. Uh, and, and all of, uh, insurance companies we work with, Medicare covers the treatment, so there's no concerns really for residents. Quick question for you. Besides prostate, you do several kinds of cancer, yes. right, that you can do therapy on. It just, again, it depends uh, at what stage it's at and if it's going to benefit the patient. Exactly. Right? We treat a lot of patients with brain tumors, head and neck cancers, mm -hmm. 
Breast cancer is another big thing that mm -hmm. we see a lot of. And actually, I think next month I'll be coming to talk about breast cancer specifically for you guys. All right. Very good. Dr. Cheney, it's always good to see you. Pleasure, Ken. Great to see you. Thank and you uh, thank you for coming up. We appreciate Anytime. it. So again, the website is CaliforniaProtons.com. You can get more information there. And I think we're going to have some brochures That's correct. for people to, to pick up. All right. We'll be right back. All right.